Welcome back to No Code Devs. Today, we're going to take a look at a cool new app that allows you to build web-based apps from Prompty. You can build things like landing pages, quizzes, forms, even data-driven apps with a connected database, and then iterate on these apps through natural language prompting. They have a really cool feature that allows you to remix apps that are in their marketplace and then iterate on them to make them your own. Today, we're going to build a web-based app from a prompt on a remixed app that already existed in their marketplace and show you how this works live on the web. Using their pro plan, you could do even more like connect your custom domain, remove their branding and all kinds of extra features like changing the colors and styling settings of the app. I think this is really cool and it's certainly the future of at least micro app building through prompting. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and comment with any questions as you build your app with this tool. Let's dive in and show you how it all works. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. We've landed at poapps.xyz and we've signed in and created a free account. You can create apps for free to a certain amount of prompts. And then after you've hit your prompt limit, you will be asked to upgrade to a paid account. Their pricing is quite reasonable. Their pro account starts at $29 a month, which gives you unlimited apps, unlimited visitors to your apps, including ChatGPT usage, 500 image generations per month, a custom domain, remove the branding, and you can even make your apps private. So super, super cool. Let's dive back here. And what we're gonna do is create a new app using the Pico App Builder. And for today's tutorial, we're gonna actually remix an existing app from their marketplace. And I'll show you how that works. So when you create new app, you have some choices here. You can make a standard Pico app. You can make a meta GTP app, a chat bop or a backend, but we'll go ahead and choose standard. Once you choose standard, you can see there's all these different templates here that you're able to remix, but you can also build a app from a prompt from scratch. I've done this a couple of times. It actually works really great. But to show you the power of Pico, I'm going to remix one of the apps that's already on the marketplace. As you'll see, they have a ChatGTP API, a stable diffusion, image generation API. You can even email yourself using their API, which is useful if you're like have a form on your app and you want to get the form responses to your email. But let's go ahead and try this. Let's use this story generator template and we're going to go ahead and click remix. I really like how you can remix apps. It's super cool. It makes it feel like it's a community of people building different things. But let's go ahead and see what happens here when we remix this app. So we can see that this is the basic version of the app. We can preview it in desktop or mobile. We can take a look at all the code behind the app. There's some other features here that are pretty cool. You can see the history of the app. Of course, the only history that we have here is that it was remixed from this URL. But as we prompt this, you will see that we can see our version history. We can also check out our app live here on the web. If we go ahead and click this URL, we can see our app here and we can even generate a story. We'll test that in a minute to make sure everything works, but I wanna show you how you can make some basic changes to more advanced things if you would like. So let's go back here and let's just say that we want to change the color scheme of this app. They have some really nice features. So you can go into style and you can easily choose some of these pre-selected fonts or even a color palette. So let's just click on this color palette here. Let's say we like this. It actually puts the prompt here for us. It says change the color scheme of this app to use these colors, primary color, secondary color, tertiary color. And look at this. It's already starting to run the prompt and there's a plain text description of what's happening here. We'll change the primary, second color, and tertiary colors in the styles to match the provided colors. For us to update the buttons and the background color, blah, blah, blah. But you see that this code is actually running here to update everything in the app as we specified. Of course, you could write your own prompt as well. And then once it's done, it actually gives us a summary of the changes that have happened here. And then it's gonna build the app based on, oh, I guess that one failed. So it's gonna go ahead and retry. Let's see what happens here. I've never seen it fail before. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when it retries this. We'll go ahead and give it a second here and let it build. Okay, so it just finished and after it failed the first time, it finished and it was successful. It went ahead and updated the colors. Let's go back here and show you some other things. We can see the history of the change color has happened here. So we can see this. We can actually see some of our app settings. We can rename our app here. And this is where we can connect a custom domain if we would like. We can also see app analytics. We just don't have any data yet. Again, you can download the app. If you're on a pro account, you can remix it. You can share, embed it. 
all of those types of things. So let's go back here. I think I might have a prompt or two left on this free plan. Let's just see if we want to change the name to kids stories. This is a basic change, but let's just see what happens. Okay, I will change the name story generator to kids stories in the H1 tag. So super simple. This should be a quick update. And look at that, we just made a change to our app. So you can see, you could quickly just through normal language, update the settings of this app, but let's go ahead and open it and see how it works. So this is pretty cool. We can choose sort of like our different genres for the story. So let's just say we want a fantasy story about space. We'll keep it short. Let's make it four sentences. Let's make them short sentences with two children. The first child's name, we will make John and he can have brown hair, blue eyes, and light skin. He's eight and he's male. And the second child will be Allison. She got brown hair, blue eyes, and brown skin. And the age will be five. Okay, let's go ahead and generate a fun story and see what happens here. So check this out. It's actually generating the story in real time here as we specified through our form that was built in the app. And it's even including images here of the family for the story. So you can copy the story, you can reset the story. This is working. Again, if you come back here, you could change all the inputs here through natural prompting. You can even connect and create a database if you would like. It uses a Google Sheet, but the app can read and write from the Google Sheet and it sets up all the APIs to connect with that sheet for you. So that's super, super cool. There are a ton of possibilities here. If we go back and we go to the web app, you'll see all these different apps that are in the marketplace to give you inspiration. So like an emoji generator, a slot machine, a welcome message chat bot, a breakout game, feedback forms, image generator bot, screenshot styler, story generator, which we just did, coming soon page. There's a ton that you can do. And I hope that this will give you some inspiration. And I hope you come out to Pico and try to build some apps because this is a super cool new tool. And it looks like they're adding a ton of new features, by the way, coming soon. If we come here, as you'll see, there's a visual editor coming soon where you can just highlight the portion of the app that you want to change and then prompt it. Also, it looks like there are some limitations right now, like you can't make an iOS or Android app, but there are backends coming soon with several different APIs and public APIs. User accounts are coming soon and more robust databasing is coming soon as well. So super excited about this tool. I think this is probably the future of certainly micro app development. Let us know in the comments what you think of this app. I hope you give it a try and thank you for being a member of No Code Devs. If you liked this video, be sure to like it, subscribe and ask any questions in the comments. Thanks so much.